Calculating the pH of strong acids compared to weak acid equilibria. So let's remind ourselves of strong versus weak acids. So strong acids dissociate completely in solution. Here's our strong acid, hydrochloric acid in water. It's going to dissociate completely to form hydronium and chloride anion. Also remember that weak acids only partially dissociate. And so we indicate that with a double arrow, an equilibrium arrow, and hydrofluoric acid is in water to still form hydronium and fluoride anion, but it only does it partially. It only dissociates partially. All of the strong acid dissociates completely. So this means that the concentration of hydroxide in solution is the same as the original acid concentration. So that's important. So if you have a strong acid in solution, whatever the concentration of your strong acid, that is the concentration of your hydronium ion. Now let's say that we prepare a one molar solution of hydrochloric acid. What is the concentration of hydronium in solution? And what is the concentration of hydrochloric acid that is undissociated in solution? And if you said one molar for the concentration of hydronium, then you are exactly right. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. And the concentration of hydrochloric acid undissociated is essentially zero in this solution. Also remember that we can relate the acidity of a substance to the concentration of hydronium in solution. And so pH is calculated by taking the negative log of this hydronium ion concentration. So let's do a little example with this. We're going to calculate the pH of a strong acid solution. So we have a 0.05 molar hydroiodic acid solution. And we want to know the pH of this solution. So remember, when we prepare a 0.05 molar hydroiodic acid solution, none of this is actually still undissociated in solution. Essentially none. But we have produced 0.05 molar of hydronium and 0.05 molar iodide anion. Okay, so 0.05 molar hydroiodic acid produces 0.05 molar of each product. Now pH only relates to the hydronium ion concentration. So if we plug in this concentration of hydronium, then we're going to get 1.30 for the pH of the solution, which is very acidic. Now, what happens if we prepare a one molar solution of hydrofluoric acid? Now this is a weak acid. So what is the concentration of hydronium in solution? And what is the concentration of hydrofluoric acid that is undissociated in solution? Well, basically, we can't do this by inspection because there's an equilibrium between the weak acid and the products. And so these species, these the acid and the hydronium and fluoride anion, these are in equilibrium with each other. So we need to find the hydronium ion concentration by calculating the equilibrium concentrations of hydrofluoric acid, hydronium, and fluoride anion. And so this is going to be basically an equilibrium problem like we did in the previous chapter. So what should you be able to do at this point? You should be able to calculate the pH of a strong acid solution given the concentration of the acid. You should be able to identify strong acids upon in inspection. And basically you want to memorize the list given. You should be able to write the chemical reaction for strong and weak acids in water. And next we're going to talk about weak acid equilibria and pH.